Hello, my name is Joanne Marcinek, and today we're going to discuss the three primary ways that you can organize your photos using Picasa by Google. The first way to organize photos is by folders. To get to the folders, you go to the upper left hand corner of your screen and click on the red arrow next to folders. That opens up your folders in a tree view. I've created many different subfolders so that I can see photos by year and then by topic within that year. You can sort your folders many different ways. Go under the folder menu and you'll see the options on how you can sort your folders. The next way to organize photos is by albums. Albums are collections of photos from different album, from different folders that are used together for some specific purpose. Either you're going to buy a set of prints and you're going to use your shop button, perhaps you're going to blog about it, create a collage, a movie, email it, upload it to Picasso Web Albums, or send it to Facebook. You've got many different options for individual photos as well as albums or groupings of photos. To create an album, you begin by selecting the photos you'd like to have in that album. To select more than one photo at a time, hold down the control key as you click the photo. If I wanted to add photos from this folder that I'm in, the 1940s, and some of the pictures from the 1950s, I have to do something, I have to take an extra step. Because if I were to just click on one of these photos, it would clear out my entire tray and only leave that photo as selected. So what you need to do is select your photos, then click this little push pin, which will hold those photos in the tray as you select photos from another album. I'm sorry, from another folder. So all these fo pictures that you see down here are the ones that you'd like to have in a single album. To do that, all you have to do is click on the right mouse button and choose the Add to Album option. These are albums that I already have existing, but you can click down here on the bottom for New Album and then name the album and date it and put a description in, whatever you want. The third way to organize your photographs is by using the name tags functionality or the people section. I'm going to close down my folders and my albums so we can pop open people. What the people or name tag functionality of Picasa does is once you've identified a person in a photo by their face, Picasa will search through all of the photos that you have from many different decades and years and group together faces of the of the same person as they've been identified by Picasa. To turn on and off this functionality and to adjust its sensitivity, choose Tools, Options, and then go to the Name Tag section. This is where you can enable or disable this functionality and enable suggestions, changing the suggestion threshold, which will change the accuracy of Picasa. The other thing that it does is when it finds a face that it thinks belongs to a specific album, it will put an orange question mark next to that person's name. So what you do is when you look at these other pictures, if it's correctly that person, you click the green check mark. If it's not, actually all of these are, if it's not, except that one maybe you click the red X and make it go away. If all the suggestions that are there match, and in this case they do, you can go up here to click the confirm all button and make all of those people part of this, all of those photos part of this name album. See, sometimes what happens is when siblings look a lot like one another, they end up in each other's albums and that's where you use this functionality to say yes or no to specific photos to help Picasa get better at choosing the right photos. So there you have it, the three primary ways to organize photos in Picasa. Thanks so much for listening.